Hello, how you doing today? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. Today I'd like to talk about an application called iNIC. iNIC is a CPU-Z alternative for Linux. Windows has CPU-Z, Linux has iNIC. So I'll scroll down here and we'll show you how to install this using Terminal. We'll start up my Terminal. And so we're going to copy, copy and paste the commands here into Terminal. Copy, paste. Now, you see, you remember, there's sudo in front of this. So we've got to enter the password so your computer knows you want to do this. Now this has hit enter or control C to cancel. When I hit enter, it's going to get a GP G key ring. This is part of the process so your computer and the database software software database that your computer gets off the internet is associated with the program on the internet. That GP G key ring keeps other malicious software from saying I'm iNIC your computer is going to say, no, you don't have the proper GPG key ring. It won't allow that to happen. And so we got to copy and paste this here next one. Now I'm going to show you this without doing sudo. Must run as root. So sudo is saying you have to run this as root. You can't programs that don't belong that don't have sudo commands that don't have sudo it won't install or allow any changes to your computer you're going to hit enter again and again the security gpg key ring is going to do its thing same with update Now, without the sudo in front of update, back it tight, without the sudo part of update, it's going to read the package list, but you see there's a bunch of errors. It's not doing. You can see down here, permission denied. Why? Because I didn't type sudo first. So I'm just going to copy and paste. And now there won't be an error. It's going to update all the internet repositories or the internet places that have programs that my computer installs from. So now I'm going to go sudo. So, even if everything else is right, it's not going to work without the sudo. iNIC is already the newest version. So let's run iNIC. I 
I Nick. I Nick for Linux. Windows has CPUs G and Linux users we have I Nick. As you can see, this is only Core 2 Dual. I have an NVIDIA card. As you can see, the, the motherboard is a Dell. And as you look down here, it's a Dell Voice Shore 200. Um, if you look, there's a solid state Sandus hard drive. I'm running LXDE Ubuntu 1604. The kernel it has installed right now is 4.40. It's the RAM network, USB inputs of different things I have already. And this is about iNIC. So there you go. Installing iNIC. Thank you.